Global templates in Elements are perfect for grouping sets of components together for use throughout your website. This can be things from menus to banners, footers and much more. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic global and reuse it throughout a site and why this is a really great, powerful thing. So I've got a banner here in this project and I've just got some text set up in it, but I want to use this banner on the other pages in my website. Now I could copy and paste this, but that means if I make a change to this, I will have to go and redo it everywhere. But if I convert this to a global, any changes I make will happen throughout the site. So let's go ahead and do that. I can do that in a couple of ways. I can right click on the banner and say convert to global, or I can go to the node browser, right click there, and say convert to global. So let's go ahead and do that. And when I've done that, it will change the outline to greens so we know that it's a global. And also a global icon will appear next to it in the node browser and the components that are linked to it will appear with a little link underneath. So we all know that is part of this global. And if I go to my components list, you will see the banner has been added to my globals area. So to use this on another page, we can go to contact and I'll switch back to my globals and I'll just drop it in the page. And let's go ahead and do that in the other page. So now on all three pages, we have the same header, but this might not be what you want because you might want to customize the content on each page. So on our contact page, we would like a different image and some different text. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So on the banner, if we want to change the image, we can go back down to the background and on all the component options, you'll see this little link item. And if you can see a link on it, it means it's part of a global and that you can break that link. And that means it will be overridden. So here on this image, we want to break this and put in a new image. So I have pressed the button and now it's blue. Let's go to the resources and let's find another image. And I'll drop that in there and you can see that's updated. And now when I click on home, it's the original image contact. It's our new image that we overrode and find us is still the original image. The other thing we might want to do is update the content. And here I can highlight the text and we can go to the global overrides area. And if we turn this on, that means the content in this area will be overridden. So let's call this contact us because this is going to be our contact page. And we'll do the same on this text. We'll go to global overrides and we'll say, yes, we want to override this text. So let's go and have a look. So we're on the contact page. If I go back to home, you can see the home is still the original text and contact us has been overridden. Now, if I just go ahead and change the font on here. Now, I didn't override this. I didn't break the link. I just changed the font and we can change the size. And if I go back to the home page, you can say you can see these changes have carried through because we didn't break the link. So this will update all of my globals. Let's set that back to Rubik. And now let's go to the components. And if I wanted a button in here, I can drag that in. And now this button will appear on all my globals, which is great. Um, and I can go ahead and customize this for each page. Um, but if I just write in there, this will be the same on all pages, unless I go up here and override the button text. We can do the same thing for links. If we wanted this to link to a different page um, on each item, we can just break the link here and that will set this as a custom link. So I hope you found this introduction tutorial on global templates useful. And if you have any more questions, please refer to the manual or ask in the elements forum. Thanks for watching this one and I will see you in the next. Yeah.